nuclear accident has occurred at a Soviet atomic plant in the Ukraine. There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union, and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. The old training room for the Bureau's agents comes in handy whenever I need to clear my head or get my bearings. Oh, I so love these theatrics. The slide projector, a timeless classic. You joined the Bureau shortly after they died, Olena. Such a tragedy that they never got to see you become the successful agent you are today. Olena Ponomarenko, gifted daughter of the brilliant scientists who discovered the principles of time travel. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, as they say. Only one slide at a time. Need to remove the first one before putting in another. The Chernobyl disaster took them. The world lost two of its brightest minds, and you lost your mom and dad. You're almost at the end of the road, Elena. Perhaps this last assignment will help you finally come to terms with this tragedy. special effects, it never gets old. Now where is the tape reel? I must have misplaced it. The Chernobyl disaster changed the world forever in more ways than one. It was the beginning of pretty much everything, really. We managed to keep it a secret for a long time, but it's not enough. Radical action is needed if the Bureau's legacy is to continue unblemished. That's where you come in, Olena. This is going to be the most important mission of your life. Failure is not an option. This is Section Chief Roman Miller. Forgive me for not joining you in person. No problem, sir.
This place is amazing. The Bureau sure knows how to spend the taxpayers' dollars. Apologies, Ponomarenko. I had some pressing matters to attend to. Like they say, the Bureau never sleeps. So they do. Before we start the mission briefing, let's get some formalities out of the way. Understood, sir. State your rank, full name, and badge number for the record, please. New Agent in Training, Olena Ponomarenko. Badge number 3541902-9129-8100. Welcome to Outpost 11, Agent Ponomarenko. Your superiors speak very highly of you. I'm sure you'll handle your first assignment with aplomb. Log in to the TCB system via the pad, and you'll receive the mission briefing. A time corruptor altering historical events? Sounds serious. And Chernobyl. That's where my parents... died. You're more than capable of taking this on. I'll be guiding you every step of the way. That said, I understand completely if you don't feel ready to face this. It could be a lot for you to handle, Elena. Absolutely not, sir. I'm prepared to face my fears. That's what I wanted to hear, Ponomarenko. So, how do I find this Time Corruptor? I'll explain in a moment. First, we need to go over the functionality of your equipment. I need to be sure you're up to speed. Take the wristwatch we prepared for you. It's a Quantum Pulse MK2, a state-of-the-art device. It allows the Bureau to track our agents and communicate with them at all times, even across space-time, so make sure not to lose it. Now hold the watch dial to bring up the main screen. Function called Whispers tracks every phase of the assigned mission. If you ever get confused about your objective, you can always check here. Please review the details of your current mission now. This tech looks incredible. What can I say? The Bureau provides only the best for its agents.
Now please pay close attention to this round, moving shape. It's called a memory. As you may recall from your training, a memory forms when someone is manipulating space-time. You'll no doubt encounter a lot of them while pursuing the Time Corruptor. Gather everyone you come across. Your watch is capable of storing them and reading their content. Grab the memory and throw it into the watch dial. To review stored information, choose the memory option. Seems like it will be very useful. Take the key from inventory. Okay, on to the next phase of your preparation. Find the metal closet and use the key to open it. Retrieve the green ampule and a small cassette, then add the items to your inventory. You should know how to do this. Now return to the desk and release the suitcase from the safety lock. Take out the ampule and place it in the opening. The substance is called Chernobylite, a radioactive material that powers the time travel device, handled with extreme care. Now pump the Chernobylite into the chrono case. Turn the crank to start producing energy from the Chernobylite, which the suitcase needs to perform the jump into space-time. Charge it fully. The cassette you retrieved from the closet contains the coordinates for the time travel device. Just place it in the correct slot. Time to set the proper date on the chrono case. April 26th, 1986. Use the control stick to synchronize the sinusoids, symbolizing the three space-time travel dimensions. The visualization panel will assist you. The trick is to make the sine waves blend into one straight line. Looks like you're good to go, Agent Ponomarenko. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, and one last thing. Svetlana and Igor, your mom and dad, would be very proud of you. Appreciate it, sir. at the power plant, Ponomarenko? The jump was a success. I think I'm somewhere near the control room. Excellent. The afternoon shift is currently rotating out with the evening one. Sneak in and track down the damage caused by the time corruptor. I can't believe someone would deliberately cause a reactor meltdown for their own selfish reasons. It's inhuman. That's why you need to put a stop to it and fast. Now go find the door to the control room. This must be it. Right through that door. And it's locked. Of course it's locked. Just my luck. 
What's your status, Elena? The control room door is locked. Don't panic, Ponomarenko. Improvise. Look around. Perhaps you can find something useful. Think like a thief, Olena. This will definitely come in handy. Success. What's your progress, Agent Ponomarenko? I managed to get inside the control room. Good. Now listen closely. Check the console for any signs of sabotage. nuclear physicists, but something seems to be wrong with the steam flow. What do you mean, Ponomarenko? It seems like it's been set to maximum. Is that normal? Absolutely not. Nice catch, Olena. You need to move fast and turn it down before the reactor explodes. Darn it. Something is wrong. I tried to adjust the steam flow with the slider, but it malfunctioned. Sparks are flying everywhere. I'm on it. Let me look at the plans real quick. Take your time. It's not like the whole place is about to blow. I'll ignore your sarcasm, because I know you're under a lot of pressure, Agent. The power must be on the fritz. Find a wrench and open the panel. Ah, found the wrench. Now open the panel, Agent Ponomarenko. of wires in different colors. The switch must have fried and reset the system. Rearrange the wires according to the colors of the slots.
I should probably rearrange the first row before moving on to the next. I think I got it right. What now? Access the control panel on the next console and check if it's active. It should have big yellow square buttons. Nothing happened. You need to unlock the control station with a key. The key should be stashed in the power plant director's office. Enter the corridor and look for... Hello? Section Chief Miller. Roman? Keep it together, Elena. You know what to do. That could be Miller. Better take the call. Hello? Listen carefully, Elena. I have information about your parents. My parents? Who is this? Not now. Tread carefully around, Miller. I'll reach out to you when it's safe to talk. What the hell? That was... unexpected. I better focus on locating the office and the key to the console. I lost you for a moment there, Elena. Are you all right? I just had the weirdest conversation with... I... I don't really know who. It's probably the Time Corruptor trying to get inside your head. Don't worry about that. Focus on your mission. Understood. Floppy disk? I think I saw one in a museum once. Wonder what it contains. Found it. The false idols are still keeping secrets, I suppose. I need to find the combination to open it.
How are we doing, Agent Ponomarenko? Got the key and the manual. Heading back to the control room. Great work. But we're not out of the woods yet, Agent. Unlock the station next to the control panel. You should now see a series of control lights. Find the combination to turn all the fields off. You need to find a combination that will turn all the fields off, Ponomarenko. Done. Turn the AZ-5 knob counterclockwise. That should prevent initiation of the sabotaged reactor test and save many lives. Should? Well... Alright. It's now or never, Panamarinko. I think it worked. Well done. Now get back to base. Pull up your chrono case and set the return jump date.